All right, so here I am. It's 98. I'm fresh out. I just paroled the homie Oli from South Cohen. He's trying to get me to go back to church. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm going to do that, bro. I'm going to go with you. Come pick me up. I need a ride, right? Remember, I made promises to God, man. He helped me beat my hot ones, you know. I mean, I didn't actually do these ones, but it's like, you know, that's how that's how things are. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get busted for stuff you didn't do, and sometimes, you know, your homies get busted for stuff you did. It's like that's what it, that's the way it is when you're running with the gang, you know. That's why we all dress. We call it our uniform, man, like Ben Davis and Frisco Bands and all that because we all look the same. So when the cops come, we scatter, and whoever they catch, they catch. That's who the cops stole, you know, the cops stole the case on them, right? I ended up getting hemmed up, and and that's why I beat the case, because they didn't have nothing on me. They have no evidence, because, you know, I didn't do nothing, bro. But anyways, so there I am. I'm waiting for Odie to come, man, right? Come get me, take me to church or whatever, right? And, um, but when he comes, I, ha- I stayed up all night partying, man. I was drinking and stuff, so I kind of messed up, bro. And uh, when he came and he honked the horn, I just didn't go outside, man, right? And uh, so I missed my little trip to church, man. And that was God. God straight came to my door. He straight said, uh, God God sent me here to come get you, bro. Like, he did, bro. I know he did, bro. And, uh, you know, I didn't go, bro. Well, later on, like sometime later, uh, like, so I'm out of the game, bro. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm retiring, like active, without dropping out, without going PC and all that. I'm like, basically, I'm retired. I got my daughter. The homies from the hood, they already told me, like, hey, bro, that's it, bro. You, you're, 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 you're good, bro. I'm already, like, uh, 20, 26. I'm 26 now, 25, 26. They told me, like, that's it, bro. You made it through your green light. You got a pass. You parole stripes. You know what I'm saying? Rider stripes. All that, bro. Like, you're good, bro. They even tried to give me the keys for the hood. When I got out, I said, no, I'm good, bro. Because I knew I made promises to God I was going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but just because you're out the game, I was going to retire on a good note, you know what I'm saying? Just do the family thing, take care of my daughter. I had a four-year-old. But, you know, even though you're out the game, it don't mean the game don't keep going, bro. I had a lot of skeletons in my closet, meaning I put in a lot of work on cats, and I had a lot of enemies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was Uno on that West Side 7th Street hit list, bro. I was, I was like, I was doing the most with them cats, right? But, uh, so these fools catch me slipping one night, bro. They catch me slipping, man. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was on one. I was drunk, and um, I was on some meth, and I was, like, just tripping out. You know what I'm saying? And um, I thought I saw my daughter and my baby mama getting kidnapped in some apartments across the way, right right next door to my pad. And uh, so, but I got a broken leg, too, you know? But I got, like, a little walking cast, right? And uh, so I fell over there, and when I'm going over there, uh, I'm like, damn, man, like, I got to hurry up and get over there, but I could barely walk, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even have my crutches with me. I just went outside real quick to smoke a frajo, and uh, it was, like, midnight. And uh, so when I push over there, uh, I'm trying to catch his car. Uh, like, I'm trying to block, I'm trying to, like, block the, because uh, it, it's like a parking lot and stuff, right? And there's only one way out. So I was kind of block it, trying to block it, but he went the other way, snatched the little girl up in the hyena. They were screaming and crying. So I try to I try to uh, block him off, but that fool like he came with the car at me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, I had to move out the way, or I'd have got killed. And uh, so I see a Vato right there on the on the car. He's sitting there on the car on the phone. So I push up on him like, "What's up, homie? Where you from, homie?" He's like, "I'm from Noah. I'm from Mexico." I said, "All right, that's straight, bro. I need a ride. I need to catch up to this car right here, homie. ASAP, bro. This fool just snatched up my daughter, homie, and my and my baby mama. Cause that was my baby mama's uh, uh, uh homegirl's house, right?" And um, so I thought she was there kicking it and something, something happened. Maybe she was messing with one of her sanchos or something, right? Because right? she always used to mess around and do some dumb stuff, right? But anyways, so fool's kind of like scary. He's acting scary. Like, what, homie? Like, what, what's up, bro? Like, this ain't my car. It's my homie's car. Whatever, whatever, right? I'm like, yeah, all right, homie, whatever. Homie, where's your homie at? I need a ride ASAP. Come on, let's go. Look, I got money. I got dope. Come on, let's catch this fool real quick. And the fool's like, look, homie, this ain't my car. So, bam, here he comes. Here comes his homie with a hyena, right? This fool's name is uh, uh, Guillermo Leon. That's his real name, but uh, uh, he went by Christian Castro. Like, he told the police that was his nickname. Hey, dude's a straight liar, right? He even lied about what happened this night. But anyways, so this fool pushes up, right? And uh, I don't know, that, that, that instinct, you know, that instinct just went off. I was like, man, I'm among enemies. I know it. So I hear him. I'm like, where are you from, homies? He said, I'm from West Side, Sandwich Street, fool. I was like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. And uh, so those are my enemies, bro. I ain't got no weapons. I ain't got nothing. 
I'm drinking. I got a beer in my hand. I'm slipping, homie. I'm like slipping. And uh, I see him go in his pocket. He got his hand in his pocket and everything. And, you know, that's a sign he might have a strap on him, you know. So we're standing behind his car, like by his trunk, and then his homie is like standing on the side of him. But now all of a sudden his homie gets hella hard. He starts coming up on the side of me. Where are you, where are you from, homie? Where are you from, dog? Like, well, all of a sudden he's gangster, right? And uh, so I feel threatened, you know. And uh, I'm like, hey, look, dog, I'm from L.A., homie. Don't even trip, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not that I was ranking because I was scared. My whole thing was to try to get in this fool's car, enemy or not. I don't give a hell. I'm on a hoop bang where he don't even know who's banging on him, right? I'm going to try to get in this fool's car so I can catch up to my daughter. And that's what my, my whole concern was my daughter. I was focused on her. You know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted to do. Go save my daughter, man. And uh, so I told you fools I'm from L.A., but L.A., Eastside 13 is at war with Westside Google too, man, right? And we click up with, oh, with Eastside 13 and go put in work on them fools. So I didn't think, man. I was drunk. I was on meth. I said the wrong hood, too, right? And they're like, you from Eastside Tessie? I was like, nah, 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 I'm not from Tessie, fool. I'm not from Tessie. Now this fool's trying to come around me. And he got his hand in his pocket. I'm like, damn, homie, like. So that fool's like, hey, look, homie, do a line right. I said, look, I got money. I hear I'll give you some gas money. I'll give you some dope. Come on, let's catch up to this car, fool. I tell him, and this fool just wants to do a line on the truck, like, to prove I'm not a cop or something. You know what I'm saying? I'll turn it up. Like, oh, what the hell? I ain't no damn cop. Like, let's go, bro. Come on. I mean, here, you can have it, though, bro. He's like, no, no, no. Do a line right here on the trunk. I'm like, man, I won't do no line, dog. Let's catch up to the car, homie. Here, homie. And I throw the dope on the on the, on the the trunk. And he tells his homie, hey, but when his homie's trying to come around me, I was like, hey, homie, back up, hey. Because he's trying to look at, at my tattoo on the back of my head. I'm bald-headed. I got a big IE on the back of my head, old English. But I told these fools I'm from L.A. That's two different counties. If he would have seen that tattoo, he would have known I was lying. The gig would have been up. And, uh. You know, it would have got ugly, but it did get ugly either way. So I told him, man, homie, back up, homie. I, I like to, you know, get out of my zone, dog. Give me distance, folks. So his homie said, hey, get the mirror, bro. Go get the mirror. Go get that and go get the mirror from underneath the, uh, you know, from the visor. He said, oh, all right, all right. So his homie, Guillermo Leone, he goes he goes into the uh, to the car, and he, he goes to the visor. Now, I'm in the back of the trunk. I'm by the trunk, and I'm looking through the back window, and I just see him. He grabs the visor, like we're going to do a line, right? But then he reaches up under the seat, and uh, he's going for the banger. And that's it, bro, it's on. So I'm like, I got the beer in my hand, and I'm looking at this fool, and he's looking at me, and we're looking at each other. He's looking me up and down, and, and that's a sign, too. So he comes out of his he, – he, he brings his hand out of his pocket, and I see he ain't got no strap. But he, he puts his back to me, and his homie comes, and he slides him the, the banger, bro. With one hand, well, his other hand goes on – puts the mirror on the trunk. He's trying to distract me, make me look less – when he hits me with the right. I, that's the oldest trick in the book. I know that. I invented that shit. So when he does that, boom, I throw the beer in his fool's face. I grab him. He turns around and he puts the gun on me. I twist his wrist. Like I said, I know that secret stuff, right? I twisted his wrist. Boom, boom. Two shots go off. He releases the gun. I yank that. Blam. Fall back. Look. He's on the ground. No, please, please don't smoke me. Please don't smoke me. And I'm looking at him. I got the gun at him, pointing at him, right? His homie's reaching in his pocket. But he's running. He's running as he's doing it. This fool's Haina is yelling, and she takes off running. Well, as his homie's running away, Guillermo Leone is running away. He's reaching in his pocket. I'm not trying to kill these fools. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to go catch my daughter. But these fools, like, like this is some righteous heat of passion type stuff right here. Like, this is just instinct, you know. Like, I'm just reacting, and I'm not in my right state of mind. Like, things are getting ugly right now for me, man. I'm like, damn, man. Like, I just beat this beat some stuff, and like, boom, like like I said, just because you're out of the game don't mean the game is over. Karma, that's what they call karma, because what you do in your past is going to catch up to you. And these fools caught me, man. But he's on the ground, and, but I don't plug him, bro. I don't plug him, man. Like I said, I got God in my heart. I'm not trying to hurt this fool. But I pop some in the air. I pop like two warning shots in the air, like in the direction of Guillermo. But like, high, and I hit the apartment complex, the second, the second stories, I I shoot up towards that way just to get him away from me, and I bail out, walking away. You know, this fool even testified in court. But he tried to make me look bad, like, oh, yeah, he just walked away like nothing happened. You know what I mean? But it's because I had a broken leg. I couldn't run. You know what I mean? I had to go to safety. So I bail out, whatever. Long story short, I get busted. You know what I mean? So moral to that little story is this. When you don't keep your promises to God, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have to pay. Things are going to get seven times worse. You know what I'm saying?
And look, the, the proof of that, look, this fool was 7th Street, man. Okay, seven times worse, subliminals. I believe I'm a subliminal criminal, right? Well, not a criminal no more, but subliminals, man, all day, every day, man. I believe in subliminals. Everything happens for a reason. There's signs all around us. You just got to see them. I ended up with 77 to life for murder, right? On this dude, and they try to kidnap me, rob me, and, and jack me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's scandalous. And these fools, these fools from Dugo couldn't kill me, bro. So what do they do? They go testify. This fool, Guillermo Limon, testify, snitch. Straight told, and not only did he tell, he lied. He acted like I was banging on him, going going to game bang on him. You know what I'm saying? He tried to play the victim role. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I ended up getting wrapped up, man, and getting life in prison. I got 77 to life, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to take you to trial real quick. The day I got broke off, right, uh, the president of 7th Street, Maldito, right, and Lincho, there's a dead president's case, man. Uh, that's a big case in the Inland Empire, man. I might get into that a little bit later, but uh, both them fools are my cellies. I sat up with my veto in the county, and um, we're in high power. We're locked down uh, uh, 23 and a half hours a day. We come off for 30 minutes a day program. That's it, just me and him. But we're in the cell to get a living together, living with the enemy, bro. You know what I mean? Me and this fool, we went a few rounds, got everything off our chest. But we became buddies, man. Became the best of friends, man. I respected that fool. And uh, but uh, so he's in the courtroom. He seen me, and I got my little homies, Silent from the East Side, little Rascal from the East Side, little Bugsy from the East Side, uh, a couple other homies. I think two other homies that they were there, man. They were they're fighting a, a double murder. Um, they got busted for uh, killing a, 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 a fool from Savage Street, and uh, uh, and uh, but they didn't do that shit. But uh, uh, they got busted for killing a dude from Savage Street and, uh, and a hyena, right? So they offered them a deal, right? They offered them a deal, like a group deal, like take one takes 12, one takes 10, one takes 8, whatever, whatever, right? And they're like, nah, I mean, nah, we're not taking that. We're fighting it. We beat the other murder in Riverside. We're going to beat this one, wah, 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 this and that, right? Well, they're right there. I'm sitting in the, they're in the jury box, homie. And I'm right there, homie, and I'm getting sanctions, homie, and they're just racking them up, 25 to life for the gun. And it's not even my gun. That was that fool's gun. You know what I mean? Uh, 15 to life for the murder. Doubled up. 30 to life. You know what I mean? And then I took a deal. Uh, the DA threatened me. You know what I mean? Because I, I got a whole jury on one of the murders. The DA threatened me. He told me if I don't take a deal uh, uh, on his case, he's going to... Uh, uh, lock up my mom, and and uh, cause she lied on the stand, which she didn't. But he he threatened me, and I just seen how they screwed me, bro. You know, they just did me. They did me in with no Vaseline, bro, in court. Violated every single right I had. Violated everything, bro. Shot down every. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I got 55 to life. Might as well take a deal. I told man, give me whatever, bro. Just leave my people's out of it, bro. And I just I took one for the team, bro. You know, I'm saying I took 22 years, man. I was like, man. But well, my homies, I saw my little homies right there in the stand, uh, in the jury box, and they were looking at me, man. Their heads were all down, all of them. Like, they were seen right there. Like, they were seeing their big homie. You have 60 seconds remaining. They were seeing their big homie right there get buried alive, man. R.I.P., man. Rest is in prison, homie. You know what I'm saying? They saw me right there getting buried. Madito, that's my boy from Savage Street. Much love. He's on death row right now. Lynch, oh, Madito, much love. Respect, homie. Midget, North Cyclone, Joey Moe, East Cyclone, death row. My boys. Much love and respect, homies. But they were there, and they were like, damn, bro. After I got sentenced, I told the homies, guys better take that damn deal, homie. Unless you guys going to want to chip off like that, bro. You don't want that. I said, hey, call the lawyer. Boom. Give me fools that deal, man. They're going to sign right now. They took the deal, man, and got out. But I seen the pain in their eyes, too. You know what I'm saying? I seen it, bro. 